Welcome to the tutorial to creating a real-time data graphic. This video will demonstrate how to make a simple scoreboard graphic for game in progress information, commonly known as GIP. Follow along on screen or on your own show control computer during the demonstration. Real-time data, or RTD, is information generated from a scoring device or software that is integrated with the Dactronics display system. Data fields appear on the display as letters and numbers, but are generated by a separate computer or controller. When a field is updated by a scorekeeper or stats official, it immediately updates on the display. This demonstration will use data from the AllSport controller, which is often found in facilities that use Dactronic systems. When designing a score graphic, it's helpful to see actual data coming through the system in order to align the fields properly and to see the overall appearance. Dactronics recommends starting a new game in the scoring device and entering mock data to represent a real game scenario. From Display Studio, open Content Studio and begin a new presentation. For this video, we are creating our graphic in the lower third window and will mimic the look of this fixed digit scoreboard. First, select a profile in the Dynamic Data Library. Select the profile that matches the sport and stats software that you're using. For this video, let's assume we are at a college football stadium that runs DACStats. Once the profile is selected, a list of folders will appear. Basic game data can be pulled from either the Game in Progress folder, which shows data from the AllSport, or the DACStats folder, which shows data from the DACStats software. Simply drag and drop the desired field onto the presentation. Move each field to its approximate location on the graphic. Continue to do this for all other fields. Add text boxes to label the data accordingly. Some designers prefer to create a custom background with descriptive words already created, then import that graphic and layer the RTD fields on top. Now use the Align tool to fine-tune the location of the various text boxes and RTD fields. This tool is located under the Format tab and lines up elements both in the workspace as well as in relation to each other. Select the Clock RTD field, choose Format, Align, Center Horizontally. Once centered, you can move it up and down one pixel at a time using the arrow keys on the keyboard. Once that is set, move the possession arrows close to where you want them. While holding the control key, select both arrows and choose Align to Top Element. Use the Align tools to line up the fields horizontally and vertically. Be sure to save your work at regular intervals. Back in Display Studio, make a button to play the file. When a change is made on the scoring device or software, that change will appear instantly on the display. If changes are required to the graphic, they can be made while the file is playing and will update once the file is saved and played again. This concludes the introduction to creating a real-time data graphic. Continue to the next video for more information.